Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra and today we are going to be showing you what we carry in our travel makeup bags and yes. we thought that this would be the perfect, perfect time, time to do it. it because we'll be at IMS LA um, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday and we're leaving on Friday so we were like in the process of like packing up all our stuff mm -hmm. so we just wanted to show you guys what we carry in our travel makeup bags. And if you guys are going to be, any of you guys are going to be at IMS LA, uh, Please don't feel shy to say hi to us because we will be there and we love to take pictures with you guys and give you guys hugs and all that fun stuff. So yeah, we will be there Saturday and Sunday, so the 18th and the 19th. Yeah, we're just going to get right into the video because we don't want this to be like a thousand years long. So first we're just going to start with our brushes that we take and we're going to go through those like really quickly because it can like get kind of boring talking about each brushes. brush. Okay, so these are my face brushes and these are my eye brushes and this is like the little thing that I carry them in. This is like really cute gray, um, charcoal gray makeup bag with like pink in the inside. So um, yeah, it's just from Ipsy. We got it from Generation Beauty last year. But um, yeah, I just like to carry my brushes in a separate makeup bag because I don't have enough room in my actual make the bag that my makeup is gonna have. I just don't like it to be too bulky. Too bulky and cluttered, yeah. <laughs> okay, so for my face brushes, this is just my foundation brush, my blush brush, uh, like a powder blush for like blending stuff out if it's like too harsh on my face, and then like my actual powder brush that I pack on powder with. So. Those are all the four brushes that I have for my face. As far as the eye brushes, obviously I have a lot more eye brushes because I need them for more things. So this is just a regular blending brush, um, like a little pencil brush for like your outer corner, um, a big, like really big fluffy brush for my under eye concealer to set that, um, a eye, gel eyeliner brush. I'm not bringing gel liner. This is just to like blend out, like smudge my waterline to make it look smoky. Uh, this is um, my little brush for my brows to define them. I put use this with um, like a concealer, and then this is like a lid brush for eyeshadow, um, a brow bone brush for eyeshadow, and then another blending brush for eyeshadow. This is like a half broken dual sided brush for my Naked Two palette. But um, yeah, I, I like to have two blending brushes. That's it for all my brushes. Nothing special. Yeah, I have the same thing to carry my brushes in. For my face brushes, I have. Of course, um, I have my foundation brush. I have my blush brush. I have my um, L flat top brush to pack on powder as well. And then I have my um, uh, a random like powder brush you to have like. The same brush. Yeah, I gave you that one because uh, I had two of them. And then I have another one of those like powder brushes um, that came in a set to like blend out harsh lines. I gave Kendra the other one because I had two. So, so soft. Yeah, it is soft. So I have one as well. Um, I have my like faux beauty blender to like like blend out concealer and stuff on my face so I have that but okay so uh, for eye brushes I have oh I have a lot of eye brushes Ridiculous. I could like I need all these no you don't yes I do uh, first I have like a brow bone brush I have oh this is disgusting we're gonna clean our brushes keep in mind this is just the brush that I set my under eye concealer with um, I have like a um, urban decay brush for like to pack on color on your lid um, I have an uh, eyeliner, like a angled eyeliner brush to like smudge out my eyeliner as well. Um, I have this for my inner tear duct color. Um, I have like a, uh, a blending brush, but this is also good to like pack on color in the crease too. Um, I have the like a, another angled brush, but I use this angled brush to like highlight my brows with concealer. Um, I have that taper brush that Kendra has, like the um, pencil the pencil brush. Um, it's the contour brush, but yeah, it's like perfect for your outer corner. I have another lid brush. This is just a smaller one. It's not as big. I have my eyeshadow, um, uh, like my eyebrow brush that I use to fill in my brows. Um, I have this brush and I use it to like blend out concealer around my brows. I have another blending brush. And then I have like another like smaller like taper brush to like create like a, a cut crease if I want to do that. So those are all my eye brushes. All my brushes fit in there perfectly. Now for the, the fun, makeup, like the fun part, the more interesting part. So first, um, these, these are our makeup, makeup bags. bags. Well, travel makeup bags. Yeah. Because I'm not, I would not put this in my purse, like for my everyday makeups. Too. Some big. people do though. But that's just too much makeup. Yeah. To be carrying everywhere with you. Yeah. But yeah, these are from Target, and they're from the Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk. Sonya Kashuk brand. I think that's how you say it. At Target, and they were like ten dollars, I think, like nine ninety nine. 
so they were yeah. a really good deal. Mm -hmm. And they come in like the cutest little prints. So, um, what and print the, is that? I don't know. It looks like a flower tie dye kind of print, like a florally tie dye. Mine kind of looks like a colorful feather or something. Yeah. So this is what they look like, and in the inside, the best part, it has like oh yeah, two zippers, two sided zippers on each side. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's like that. So it's a lot of space in here, and I like how like far down it goes, so you can fit like a lot of stuff in here. So I was so excited when I got this. We'll just ping pong it and then show you guys what we bring. I guess we'll just start with how we put on our makeup. So we'll just start with primer, I guess. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is just my um, um, Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. And it's from number seven. Um, it's not really a primer, it's more like a, I, I don't put it all over my whole entire face. I just put it on like my T-zone area where I get the oiliest. Cause yeah, I, I oil it all over, but. Oh yeah, I have that too. I guess we'll talk about this together too, cause I have it as well, so. I use it for the same thing as she does. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And it just stops shine for a matte finish. Blah blah blah. We and will, it also said it improves blemishes. blemishes. But we will be doing a full review on this pretty uh -huh. soon. Um, uh, the next thing that I have is uh, my baby skin by Maybelline. Um, I'm still kind of seeing how I like this. I like it so far. So I really don't have anything bad to say about it so far. So I really like this because it's like nice and compact. So it's like perfect for travel. So I'll be taking that. And then if you guys are wondering about moisturizer, like oh, that's in our hygiene. That's in our bags. hygiene. Um, travel bag. So, um, the only foundation that I'm bringing is my Kat Von D Tattoo Locky Foundation. So, I'm only gonna be wearing this on the days that I am at IMAX, but um, this is like my favorite high end foundation right now, so definitely have to bring this. It's a must. Um, so, I have two foundations that I'm taking. I'm taking my Kat Von D um, foundation as well, and then I'm also taking my Revlon Nearly Naked um, because, like, I couldn't decide like which one, but obviously, I wanted this because of for IMAX since it's like I'm gonna be having on makeup all day. So, and then I have this one for like the days like we're not really doing that much. So that's why I decided to bring both of these. And then as far as concealer goes, I guess we'll just get concealer out of the way. Um, this concealer, I know it's kind of beat up and raggedy, um, but it's for my brows and it's what I like to clean up my, the, like highlight my brows with. And this is just the Iman um, concealer that I like to put for my brows. And then as far as my under eye concealer, I'm bringing my wonderful MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I just got a new one fresh out the box. <laughs> I was so happy when I got another one because, y'all don't know, I, I was without this for too long. So for concealers, I also have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and then I'm bringing one of my LA Girl concealers because I like this for like added like highlight because it's like a little lighter than my normal concealer color, and then I also shape my brows with this. So that's those. And as far as powders, I'm bringing um, two, one to set my concealer and then one for all over my face. And this is just my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation and then my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder for all over. So these are my two that I'm bringing. I'm bringing my um, Iman powder for all over my face. Then I'm also bringing my L'Oreal True Match powder for um, like under my eyes and wherever, and wherever else I have concealer. So bringing both of those. And then for we're blush, one blush, yeah, we're bringing the same thing. And mine is broken on the top, but it still closes, so it'll be fine in there. And this is just the Milani Bake Blush in Fantastico Mauve. So and this is like the perfect Yeah, I chose blush. I chose this like for travel because it's a blush and a highlight, so it's like two-in-one. Two one. You don't have to take like two separate ones. Right. So I thought like this was like perfect. Uh, for brows, I'm just taking my um, Maybelline um, eyebrow powder. So you guys know I love this. And I'm taking my NYX um, Auto Eyebrow Pencil in um, dark brown. So yeah, this is just the eyebrow pencil that I like because it's like the easiest for me. So yeah. And while we're on brows, I'm bringing my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Clear Brow Gel. And um, this is the travel size. And surprisingly, I actually love this stuff because I used to get sick of hearing about the hype of Anastasia. But I actually do like this stuff. So yeah, bringing that. Moving on to eyeliners and mascaras. Um, I'm only bringing one mascara and it's my favorite favorite mascara right now i'm in love it's the l'oreal telescopic and carbon black so i have to bring this and then as far as eyeliners i'm bringing three two liquid and then one cold pencil and this is just the elf liquid eyeliner and then my um little rack front of the line pro um liner pencil i mean pen whatever you call it so i, I want to bring two just in case because i like to layer eyeliner i'm just crazy eyeliner fanatic and then um, this is my Scandalized Cold Pencil and what um, the waterproof version. I just realized it was waterproof. 
Um, yeah, that's why I picked it up. I forgot it was waterproof, so it's very long wearing. So it's just the um, the black one. So I love this. For my mascaras and eyeliners, I, I'm actually bringing the exact same eyeliners that Kendra are bringing. This is crazy. We just like grabbed all our makeup in separate rooms, yeah. obviously, and brought it all. We in. have a lot of the we same have a lot stuff. of matching things. But I didn't know she was gonna pack some of the same stuff. I mean, we are twins, so what do you expect? Um, but the eyeliners that um, I'm taking are the Elf one, the Scandalized Cold Pencil, and my Lorac Pro liquid liner as well. So two liquid liners, one pencil liner, or a cold pencil. So have those, put those over here. For mascara, I'm taking my um, telescope, my L'Oreal Telescopic as well for like length, length and like um, to like stretch them more. And then I'm bringing my Scandalized for like added volume. So I'm bringing both of those. We're both bringing uh, just the Lorac little, Pro. yeah, the Lorac eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer. And I just, I have a lot of uh, like things that I use to prime my eyelids, but I just decided to take this, this one because it's, yeah, it's so small. And then of course for eyeshadow, we're taking our one palette. Lorac Pro palette. You only need one. That's I hate when it. people take like a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, unless you're going to be gone for like a long time. We're only going to be gone for four days. So this is like the perfect palette. Like it's thin. It's just. Yeah. The best palette to travel with. It so, is. Yes. Bring that. I guess I'll just mention this really quickly. I'm bringing my oil absorbing sheets in here. I'll probably throw this in my little crossbody. Oh, I have those too, but they're like my regular makeup yeah, bag and my so purse. I'm bringing these. And then we're both bringing this model in a bottle setting spray. Gotta set the makeup. Gotta set everything, lock it and load it. And last but not least are our lippies, like lip things. Um, I'm not going too crazy. I might add like one more lipstick if I feel like it. But um, this is just my Baby Lips Doctor Rescue and Soothing Sorbet. It's amazing and yeah, it is. It just, you don't have to like work too hard to make it look right. It's just moisturizing and the color looks pretty. It's very sheer. And then my Revlon um, Pink in the Afternoon Lipstick. It's like a pinky nude color. So um, I know my, it's pretty boring, but I might add like a, a red or something or like a vampy color. But this is what I have right now as far as my lip colors. So for lip, uh, items that I have. These are only the ones that I'm carrying in this bag because these are only. Yeah, because I have like so like many lip items in my regular makeup bag in my purse. So um, I'm just taking my um, Nivea Milk and Honey Lip uh, Chap. Of course, I'm taking my Milani Naturally Chic Lipstick because this is my baby. And then I'm um, taking a red lipstick just in case like I might want to put on red. And this is the Wet n Wild um, Spotlight Red. So I'm taking that as well. And then I'm also taking one lip gloss in Apple Strudel by NYX. I'm also taking a pencil sharpener uh, for our cold, cold pencils. pencils. So yeah, this is everything packed in here. Yeah, like and it's nice. like a weight. Yes, I can, really I can you know do some curls with this. As you can see, it fits all of our makeup, like very compact and perfectly. Like I say it's more structured, so yeah. it's perfect, like to fit everything in there. And it also zips all the way around. All the way. So, so it's not like, just at the top. Yeah, so it's easier to get everything out. So that is everything that's in our travel makeup bags. We hope yeah. this video was not too long. Um, and we don't like to bring too much. We yeah, we made sure we got like pretty decent size the essentials. travel makeup bags just because it helps to constrain everything minimize yeah put the in amount here. of makeup you want to bring because yeah if you buy like a big one you're just gonna take your whole makeup collection yeah um we hope you guys enjoyed this video um for those of you who are going to imsla we can't wait to see you guys so yeah uh, i guess we'll just see you guys in the next video bye, bye. Um, and then lastly, I have my booty. Just say booty. Booty blender. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have my brow bone. I have my brow bone. I have my eyebrow. Get out, Kelsey. For concealers, I also have um the infamous. So for. <laughs> Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. Oh, camera stop record. Stop. For my two powders, I'm bringing, of course, my infamous Iman con concealer. No.